Today I'm going to be giving you my review on a Collins double bit axe. I bought this one at Ace Hardware a few months ago. Cut a few trees down with it, split some wood. It's a really nice economy axe, I guess you'd say. It's definitely not an heirloom quality, but it does pretty good. It's got a, a 34 inch handle on it, three and a half pound head, and it's been used a fair bit. It holds an edge fairly good. Um, they put a varnish on the handle when you buy them, which they do that so it doesn't get fingerprints and stuff in the store. But that's one thing I haven't done with this one yet. I like to take that varnish off, put a good coat of oil on it. it makes it feel a lot better in your hand. So I'm gonna bring y'all in a little bit closer and show y'all how I get, how I do that. It works best if you clamp it down with something. I just got a little clamp here, I'm gonna clamp it down. So it holds still. The best way I found is I made myself a scraper, just a piece of steel with a 90 degree edge on it. You just take it and scrape. Scrape all that varnish off. The varnish tends to make blisters and just doesn't feel as nice as regular smooth wood. You could use sandpaper, but I find that a flat, straight edge like that actually cuts it better than the sandpaper does. The finished product feels nicer, I think, anyway. If I remember right, I bought this at Ace for about $40, something like that. So it's, you get what you pay for, but you can, sometimes you can take something cheap and make it better. Let's go ahead and flip this around. We just keep on scraping this thing. Get all that old varnish off of there. And just work this on around the side. Keep the edges like this. Make sure you get all that varnish off of there. Okay, we got all that off of there. Next, I'm going to put some. This is butcher's block oil there's probably some better oils to use but this is what i got it works okay it kind of help protect it Make sure you get it up here on the head. There's some end grains exposed there. You want to make sure they get that moisture in there. Whoa. I like to take care of my handles first and then sharpen it. That way you're not working with that really sharp edge. It's a little safer that way. Don't pay much oil, just enough to give it a good coat. That's looking pretty good there. Let me up here.
go. If it has varnish on it, it just won't soak the oil up. And then it seems like eventually your handles will dry up and you start cracking and splitting. And yeah, you can get some in the top here, it's good too. It can be a little difficult to get it in there sometimes. Yeah, just rub it down good. Get some on the butt of it here. I think the end grains are especially important because the wood is made up of fibers that are kind of like straws. They'll soak in that moisture from the oil, or they'll soak in, soak in the oil to keep the moisture out. That'll nourish the wood and keep it going for a long time. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that part's done. I'd like to use a file on my axes. You can, I have a belt grinder, I could use that, but it's just something about doing it by hand. Seems like you can get a really good job. Want that handle look prettier? This axe isn't terribly dull, but it still could use a sharpening. Excuse me, buddy. There's just a small file here. Just going to dress it up a little bit. Feels a lot better. You get the other side. When you go with your file, you see the shiny part where you're cutting. I like to try to make it cut back from the edge just a little bit and then bring it down to the edge. You get a nice, consistent, sharp edge there all the way around. There's a little nick right there. Let's see if we can get that out. Getting a burr on it there, it's good. Take that burr off of there. Man, that, I'm sure it could be made sharper, but it's plenty sharp enough for what we're doing. Feel sharp? Pretty sharp? But this way, that's, that's sharp enough. Okay, let's start working on the other side here. We got a little nick right there, too. Trying to work that out. Most double bit axes, you'll have one side that's sharper than the, or more of a flat 
angle than the other ones. So this one's thinner here than it is over here. When you're splitting wood, this side works better. If you're chopping down a tree, this side works better. It's just the way a lot of them are designed. You got a burr all the way along the bottom. Let's keep going a little further. I'm gonna get this one spot out where there's a nick there. Pull that burr off of there. Sometimes you get a burr and it'll feel really sharp until you use it for just a little bit and then the burr falls off and you're back to dull again. So if you can get that burr off and get it truly sharp, it'll last a lot longer. So feel it down here a little bit. This is some pretty tough paper here. Well, it could be sharper, but I don't know. Should we make it sharper? Oh. Sharp enough, you think? Don't sharpen anymore. Don't sharpen anymore. Don't touch it with a violet. Violet. Violet anymore. Just some really light strokes on it. Yeah. Having a good light behind it can make sharpening a lot easier. You can actually see the reflections and stuff, it just makes it a lot better. Well, it's trying. It's almost shaving. Just leave that. I'd say that's sharp enough. It's nice to have them shaving sharp, but then it's easy to destroy that edge too. Well, we're not shaving that much. It's almost shaved. shaved a couple hairs. There's a few missing. That's sharp enough though for what we're doing. Okay, so that's my review on the Collins Premium. Let's see if we can read it. Premium double bit Michigan axe made in Mexico, if I remember right. So yeah, it's not your heirloom quality axe, but it'll get the job done. And it's a lot more inexpensive. Because you know it's not the, made in China. China yeah, at least it's not made in China. M. At least it's not made in China. <laughs> China. Well, thanks for watching. If you need a decent axe it won't break the bank go to ace hardware and pick yourselves up a collins axe i think you can get them on amazon maybe at walmart i'm not sure thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos and have a great day